house, y'all. I'm super excited to have you here. You know, my show is about authenticity. So how are you really doing this? Listen, you know I have always kept it 1,000. You really you. have. And the last couple of years or even decades have been a roller coaster ride, right? Because yeah. this is a business that we're in where we hear no more than we hear yes. Yes. You know, and Let's I think talk both of it. us for a long time went without representation. Like, we forged our own path. I tell people Repres all the time. How, there was no representation. Who got, who okay. got money for a publicist? Who got a pu okay, agent. agent. What? First of all, when we were dancing, there was no such thing as a Absolutely. dance agent. We was out there doing it all ourselves. Absolutely. So now trying to like recreate what this looks like yes. over 40. Or, hey, hey, you know hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Easy now. But it's been good. And you know, the personal stuff, right? Like between relationships, breakups, makeups, moving on, Absolutely. this whole pandemic thing we went oh through goodness. that we came out, thank God, on the other side. Some people didn't make it. Right. So it's been crazy. And then this whole reinvention of myself and trying to figure out what's next. Yeah. You know, can my yeah. body still hold up? Uh, do I even want to dance anymore? Yeah. Or you know, so, so tell me, questions. tell so, me about that. Do you want to dance? I would love. See, the, you I still have it in you? I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me, Les. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, my whole career is from a gymnast when I was 10, a full college scholarship, then on to a whole full dance career, tumbling on hard surfaces. So this body is seen a lot. Yes. But, you know, that desire for dancing still burns in my I know, soul. I and know. it's bigger sometimes than us going to a house club for like three or four hours because the DJs pop and play mm -hmm. some of the classic joints that mm -hmm. I need to like perform in front of a live audience or a camera on film. Yeah, so, you're a performer, you're yeah, creative, yeah. I get it. It's like, you know, feeding that beast. That's what I'm hearing from you, like that you still need to feed that beast Absolutely. to be on the stage performing. Absolutely, and at moments where you're now trying to move behind the scenes, right? Because we literally, as a choreographer, we're behind the scenes too, but we can put ourselves in our work to move into directing yes. or to move as an acting coach. Yes. And still, I know you've said that you don't have the desire as much to be in front of the camera mm -hmm. anymore, but I think when I look at like counterparts of Ryan Seacrest or Carson Daly, right? They get to be in front of the camera all day long yes. as well as have ownership. So I'm at that stage too where like I need to own these things and not just be a chick with a mic, but if I want to step in front of the camera with the mic in my hand, I should be able to do that too. You really without should. Having to choose. No, you really should. And you could. Okay? Yeah. So you just have to keep going for yours as far as I'm concerned. I ain't going nowhere, so I'm yeah. doing it all. Yeah. All my boxes will be checked. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. And the only way that they won't be checked is because I've transitioned and <laughs> And I'm no longer here. Right. Okay. But all my boxes will be checked. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but you, you're doing, you're doing amazing. You've continued to do amazing. Um, I don't like us to feel like what's next, or like there's always got to be something next going on. Of course, I believe that we should be going from glory to glory. Right. So right. you. Absolutely. You are a producer, you are a director, you are a choreographer, you're a dancer, you're an incredible host. But but you are, you're so good and you should always be working on taking it to that next level. Yeah. Yeah, you it know? does it doesn't stop for us. And, and you know it shouldn't we, stop. we're from the old school of where we actually do the work, right? No shortcuts, no right. throwing a drink in somebody's face for Facts. like likes and fans and, and social media, whatever the case is, all we actually do the work, you know, and yes. I will outwork anybody till this day, still, now, L at this literally. age, in this stage. Don't play literally. with me. Literally, your whole energy right now. <laughs> don't play with me. If y'all could see her, like, don't play with my legs, okay? <laughs> and then you know she me. She will snap off on you in a second, Listen. okay? And you are, and, and, and I'm, I get scared of you when you get into the space that you get into, okay? Because I know, I know. <laughs> I but know. we're concrete jungle girls, No, absolutely. Right? Concrete York jungle City, all day. So you don't know what that pounding the pavement really is. Yeah. You know? And there's no letting Until your foot off the gas. Until you're pounding the pavement. Absolutely. Yes. No letting your foot off the gas. You know, yeah. I still want to do action film, right? My whole yeah. Pam Greer affection, like, oh my God. it has to be me. Yeah. You know, while a girl can yeah. still flip. So I'm like, that's, right. that's a mission <laughs> I haven't done as well as right. so trying to create those stories as but well as tell our story. You know what, Les? What about if God is setting you up, though, to be the one to tell that story. Yeah. To tell the story and be in the story. I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. You know, and I'm, that's why I'm trying to still take care of my body, still. Yeah. No, you're not you trying. Know. You are taking care of that body. There's no 
doubt. I'm on that Jackie Chan mission. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Um, so you look amazing. Um, one of the things that I want to talk about on the show, I didn't even give you a formal introduction or anything. We just went right into it. That's Listen, how girlfriends that's do. That's how girlfriends do. <laughs> but if y'all don't know, I have Big Les up in the house. She's a legendary dancer. Um, she's a legendary host. Um, when we celebrate hip hop, it cannot be celebrated without my girl, Big Les. And you know how I feel. I'm going to give you all the props. I'm going to give you all the flowers. I was right there with you. Um, and so we know that we know we know the deal and how it started. So I want to make sure I give you your flowers, Les, because I think you're so dope. I love you. Um, and I received them. And I love you. And I'm so proud of you. Thank and I'm you, so proud baby. of us. And you have transitioned into an amazing acting coach. People are... The rumblings in the streets oh, are nothing but shoot. compliments oh, from people shoot. that have been acting coaches or casting directors for a long time, Thank and you, they are sweetheart. giving you your props. And I just, I love Thank the evolution you. of you and the evolution of us. Listen, we can't I know. Be stopped, I know we Play can't be I stopped. Because so I want you to know, like, this is this is this is our first one. But you you're about to be spending a little more time with me on the show. <laughs> so don't think this is like a one up. Okay, we it. got we got stories to tell. Listen, it is so important for me, especially with the Hip Hop 50 that just passed last mm -hmm. year, that our names are synonymous when you hear Debbie Allen, That's right. and you hear Paula Abdul, That's right. and you hear Misty Copeland, because what we did, we, you, I, me, That's us, right. we did yes. for Hip Hop Dance needs to be recognized and remembered, and it shouldn't be that people are going, who are they again? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, or you look familiar. Yeah, I want it to never. be in the history books. I want us to be in part of the conversation. Yeah, and and we're going to be in the hip-hop museum. You know, we, we really thank the people who have stepped up and recognized us and give us our, our flowers. Um, so if you could dance for anybody right now, who would that be? Who would that oh. artist be? My list is long and strong, even okay. the people that I never got a chance to dance with. Okay, who would that be? But first we'll start with, of course, Beyonce, because I absolutely respect her creativity and her concepts. It's like, insane. I just, absolutely, let's go, let's throw it down. And she's a grown-ass woman like okay. us, and we can still give it to her. So let's... Yes. Beyonce, I never got a chance to dance for Usher. I can't believe it. I never got a chance to dance with Usher. Okay, somebody somebody uh, call Usher, somebody tag listen. Usher. And we can both still do our backflips. He I, got it. I, I got know. it. Like, I can totally it. see it. We got it. We got to uh, make that happen. I never You know he's coming to town. Oh, I do know. Okay. I've seen the show like four or five times. And then, of course, as you know, my history with yes. my ex, I've been on yes. tour with them for a thousand years. Right. And me looking at the show for me, the backstage with the foot of the stage, going, How have I never danced for you? He's How? insane. How? He's insane. Right. Another one, Missy Elliott. I've oh never goodness. danced oh for Missy. Now, I, I think that has to be mine. That oh, has to be mine. And she my has got favorite. the most incredible concepts yeah. and things. That, and she actually respects dancers. She gave that she, shout out at the award ceremony. One like, of the only people who shouted part. out their dancers. That part. Yes. So much respect mm -hmm. to Missy Elliott, for sure, and all her fly dancers. For sure. Um, and then I still feel like I have unfinished business with someone that you danced with and we lived with. Oh, shit. It's Janet Jackson. Really? Right. I never got a chance to, like, do any music videos or tours. That's, we kicked it in the club. That's kind of wild, wild, actually. Think about it. Never got a chance I, to do anything. I, that's wild. Yeah, because I that's made the detour right. to Bobby Brown and right. that whole bit. That's so. right. So you were dancing with Bobby Brown at the time. Yeah. When, yeah. when she approached us to, well, John Singleton approached us Absolutely. to dance with her. That's and that, right. that's, that's a whole wild. other chapter. Yes, exactly. That's about. exactly a whole other chapter. Yeah. And then I want to say Justin Timberlake. Even without their controversy, whatever, I still respect who he is as an artist. Oh, absolutely. And I don't even stuff. think nobody's even thinking, thinking about, about that. that anymore. I don't think so. Yeah. But, I but think, yeah, he's a he's he's a dope artist. So those are my top. Right. And I don't I don't think I would mind Chris Brown either. Ooh, I'm I definitely totally. gonna have to go in the train and go. Like, <laughs> I need to ask the tango stand about by. His. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I love well, watching those him dance. People. Those are those are good people. Um, and that's absolutely possible. So careful what you put out there. I know. Because I'm going to need Epsom salt, ibuprofen, ice bag. Careful what you put <laughs> out there. I do, yeah, I just don't, 
I just don't think I could do it. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what? In terms of what you said, that I don't want to be in front of the camera, um, I don't think it's so much me not wanting to be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. um, I think, and I'm talking in terms of my acting, right. okay? I, I just felt like it was such an, an unhealthy relationship with Hollywood, with mm. how, you know, you know, the auditions and you're just putting so much out and, and you know, there's so much work, there's so much involved with it yeah. that it was very unhealthy. I, I felt like I had a very unhealthy relationship with that thing that I loved so much and I wanted to keep it sacred. Yeah. And just like dancing. Yeah. You know, so many people, you know, have I mean, ain't nobody calling me right now to ask me to dance in a I video. don't know why, because you can do our <laughs> snatch more than these kids ain't out nobody. of the space. Listen, <laughs> listen. You know, we we gonna keep it tight until <laughs> until we out. That's but <laughs> but um yeah, I wanted to have more control of, you know, my career. My production company is called Be Fly Create. Mm. Because mm -hmm. I believe that in this day and age, we have to be fly and create our own destiny. We have to force our own way. Um, and, and sometimes we have to be loud and, and proud about it. Um, and sometimes we can just do it nice and quietly and, you know, and then boom, here I am. Right. You know what I'm so saying? you and I don't move quietly. We so. don't move quietly. Yeah. No. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, don't. we like to stir doors. stuff up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And kick, do a little kicking and a little stretching oh, and a little... Yeah, a little backflip. Yeah, little, and a backflip. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Thing. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I met um, with Nephi. She's one of the... Uh, one of my remarkable souls like you that I'll be having on the show. And I love um, something that she said. She said she was the pivot princess mm -hmm. and she was not afraid to pivot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Like we can't be afraid to pivot. Yeah. I think, I think they say that after you've worked like something like 300 hours, you're an expert in that mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And so you've worked more than, we've worked more than 300 freaking hours yeah. or whatever it is. Maybe it's 3,000, whatever it is, right, we've right. done it. Okay, so you can step into whatever it is that, I mean, you know, whatever you want to be. Like, not everybody's made to be a director right. or a producer, yeah. but Big Les knows what she's good at. And I feel like all you have to do is step into that place and God will meet you there because I believe that we are supposed to. You're an expert. I, but it, I agree. But these gatekeepers still, whether it's the networks or whether it's the money, sometimes still don't believe that you're that person, right? Unless, yeah. So what? Yeah, that part. That, but that's why I'm saying be fly and create it yourself. Yeah. We got to create it ourselves. Yeah. And, you know, I, I I really feel like that's where I tell everybody, and, I, and I'm only, and I'm going to stop saying it because I need to stop saying it. But I tell everybody, I do everything scared. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not one of those people who walks around extra confident and can get anything done I'm not I do I have always done everything scared but I've had the courage to mm -hmm. do it scared funny enough yeah right yeah. and I believe that that's where God has always met me on the other side of that fear you know yeah. so it's scary and it's a lot and it's overwhelming but if you don't invest in yourself Les who will absolutely but we old school people know that right, right. 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 Definitely know that and don't look for other people to alley oop us up. Right. Um, and I think fear is absolutely a driving force. Yeah. The fire yes. that burns underneath you is the thing that makes you go to the, And everybody's not built for this business. And, and everybody doesn't right. handle fear the same way. Yes. Some people this retreat. True. Where yeah. you and I and other people run through it. Yeah. So yeah. I may have some burn marks somewhere. Oh, oh I got all kind of bruises. Absolutely. Okay, but, but we I'm, still do. We're okay. <laughs> Still very cute. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. I mean, I just feel like um, go for yours. You know, just go for yours, Les. Because yeah. you know, sometimes I feel like when I'm with you, I feel the frustration because you've done so much. Like, what the heck? Like, what do you? What does a sister need to do? You and you already know it's that much harder for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I agree. And I. 
it's the frustrating things too is that hearing that so how many followers do you have oh what kind God. i'm over it i'm, I'm over so it. over That's it so you know tired but it, it's a real thing and it's just yeah. like i don't even know how to get around it and then you get frustrated because you see these people who have zero talent zero capability who flip the table through a drink making a gazillion dollars yeah. and for what like yeah. we're still here clawing whatever the case is but i would never trade it for anything people have asked me would you be on a reality tv show i was like might host a reunion but no, there's no reason for me to be because right. anything that I've done before a reality TV show will absolutely get erased. It'll be disappeared. Yeah, that's a hard. That's a, yeah. yeah, that's a hard call. call. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know there are people who who do it and they're you know getting their bag, but yeah, that's a hard call. Yeah, I know. think we have too much integrity for what we've done to just throw it away. I, you I, know? I totally agree, mm -hmm. and so good on you for you know passing up all those opportunities where you could have done it that way yeah um but you're doing your thing though you're looking good what's the love life looking like huh what's... what <laughs> is this thing on <laughs> it's so uh, crazy how? that's not even possible listen i don't know what first of all it's hard for me to i've never dated a man older than me which is crazy so i even I know that about yeah me. you know my <laughs> still young energy is whatever oh your dms are about to be going crazy right now because <laughs> guys okay. at my age they just don't keep up and they're not taking right. care of themselves they're not in good health physical physiological health it's a, it's a mess they're not You're healed that, fellas? they're not going to therapy like and they're showing up angry i'm like, part. no parts of that you know, I've, I've met a couple of men who don't even have their passport. I'm like, wrong chick. I'm in a different country every three <laughs> okay, months. Like, seriously. what do you mean? And right. I, I just want someone who can elevate and evolve me, who can introduce me to things that I have never seen or done before, that opportunities have me thinking in a different kind of way, um, who can meet me where I'm at because I'm not elevating another man again. You know, I've That's dated right. two men, long relationships, 17 years, five years, who have potential, who are whatever. But it's my time now, yeah. and I'm going to be yeah. selfish in that. In Good that for way. you, Leslie. For sure. Absolutely, you you deserve the best because you love yourself because you are the best to yourself. Okay. That's where it starts, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And so you you've come into that place, and so now you know, like yeah. you have your boundaries are are nice and strong and yeah. set. So I love so. heart, you know, got a little boy toy here and there, right? But, you know. <laughs> Point. Yeah, but then you decide quickly, like, is he long-term or is he Mr. Right Now? So right now, right. i got to, like, a few Mr. Right Nows. <laughs> a few. Let me not say a few. Okay. But even if she I'm said grown, a few, you... even if there's a few, I'm grown. Stop okay, playing. okay, okay. Um, <laughs> it's so crazy. I feel like I'm in my prime all over again, you know? I, I do, too. I feel great. I feel like I'm just starting. You know? Like, I really do. I feel like I'm just starting... Um, 50s has been nothing but good to me, yeah. you know, I've, yeah. I've gone through some challenging times, as you know, but but I'm stronger than ever, ever. I'm clearer than ever. Who was your favorite dancer that, no, favorite artist that you worked with? And would you work with them again? Oh, I absolutely would if he was still here. Mm. Heavy D. Mm. The love of my life, yes. my brother, my family. Yes. I love yes. everything yes. about working with him was just magical to the point where every time I go home, or most times when I go home, I still go have dinner with his family wow, and his brother you. Floyd and stuff. Absolutely. I um, miss him so much. Him, the whole Mount Vernon crew, yes. it was just family. They took care of us, yeah. they respected us, For sure. it was love. Sure. I absolutely I love that. Shout yeah. out to Mount Vernon. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I wonder what his place in hip hop would be right now, right? With the way music I think has about changed it so often. much. You know, but I think people just loved Hebs across the board and he yeah. had been acting and stuff, but you oh, know Yeah, he was acting. He yeah. was doing so yeah. good. And he was still always yeah. in my life, so yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah, yeah. On. Do you know that Heb was the first one to ever call me queen? That's the really? first time I ever heard that word being used in that way. It was Heb. Really? And I was like, I'm a queen. I mean, the idea was just like that. Mm -hmm. Like it stopped me in my like steps. I, I literally will always, I always thank him for that because he, he just opened up my mind to it's looking amazing. at myself and uh -huh. us as women. Yeah, words are, are important. You can either break someone or build them up. But when they're two, three, that's why those teachers are so important. Oh, yeah. you'll never be this, you're a bum. You know, those yeah. words, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is being a little, should I be 
No, I'm not going to say that. I was going to ask you another question, but I'm not going to ask it. <laughs> I can deny the answer. You just ask it. Go for it. Which artist would you not dance with again? Uh, oh, Key Sweat. Why? Why? Easy. Oh, why? God. We became friends finally after that tour. Working with Keith. See, I did have, not expect you to say that. <laughs> I and did not expect you to say Keith. Yeah. Arrogance, which everyone knows, which is known mm -hmm. throughout the industry, mm -hmm. was very derogatory in speaking to women and dancers and you dancing bitches and did it, all that other stuff. And it was a tough tour. Mm -hmm. um, we have since mended our relationship good, and actually become good. cool that we were going to do a radio show and stuff together. Good. I'm but to, to revisit in my brain that dance experience with him, I'm, I'm good on that. Mm, mm. Next. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's I'm wild because I, I didn't think you were going to say, Keith, I don't think you ever shared that with me. Uh, I wasn't on that tour. Mm -mm. I danced. I danced with him, but I wasn't on that tour. We did like, what, Soul Train or like something stuff, we did. Stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, our soul train days. What about those mm -hmm. days? The Mary J. Blige, the, Mary the guy, yeah. Aaron Halls, and yeah. That was a, that was a total high. Um, Especially when you dream of being a soul train dancer. Right. And in fact, now you're on the soul train stage, right? Okay. Instead. Look, look at God. God. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, look at God. And I just want to remind you of that, Les. I know you know it. You know, I don't want to be up, up in here sounding like, you know, but, you know, God's got you. For he's sure. got you like For he's sure. always had you. You're a, a, a force, okay, and you take up your lane. And I've learned a lot from you in the way that you've done business because I was very, um, you know, very naive coming into the business. But I think we very. all were, mm -hmm. but I think we move with a sense of integrity yeah, for sure. Um, and I think we were raised as, you know, I was a latchkey kid, so that independence mm -hmm. and don't tell me and being able to, you know, provide for myself still kind of stood still. And then the fear of disrespecting my mother or my grandmother oh, was are like, you kidding? never. No, like, I never. have moved with oh. a certain kind of way. And yeah. You've learned along the way what your worth is and how you can demand it and ask for it. And wait, you called me for this job. Oh, I have leverage? Okay, mm -hmm. let me yeah. add a zero on this. <laughs> You know? So, yes, that's good stuff. But I believe that's it too. Stuff. Even with not being a fly girl, mm -hmm. I got to perform a living color with the artist, that's, right? Yeah. So look that's at right. God. That's you right. Know? Yeah, so. God's been moving lovely in your life. I mean, I've been so proud of you. I think you're an incredible host. If I could want anything for you, it would be to see you have your own talk show. I mean, your mouth to God's ears. Okay. Let's, let's Seriously. Talk. We've been working on that too. Yes. Too, so, so do you want to talk about things that you're working on? Do you want to, or do you want to kind of save them? Um, I kind of want to let I, the people only, know no, what you're up to. Well, I'll say this. I'm working with the Grammy Museum. Nice. And that's cool. Different areas to try and curate stuff. They have a okay. whole rap city section, which includes just Tigger. Nice. So now I got to punch people uh -uh, in the face because uh -uh. there's 10 other hosts that they forgot about. Wait. So, absolutely. So oh, I'm trying to help them really do that. remix that. Yes. Um, I want them to Stay have on a place. Them, Liz. Stay on them. Oh, I'm on them. Mm -hmm. I want them to have a place for us as dancers and all the music videos that me, you, fly girls in general, the BBD mm -hmm. dancers, like that we all deserve a place in history. So when you're telling the story of these artists, even our photos should be next to them so that they know yes. who we are. So I'm really trying to make sure that we don't die in history. Yeah, no, we're not, we're them. not. Between you and I, we are not yeah. gonna let that happen. Yeah. Absolutely not. And again, moving into this director space, you mm -hmm. know, and I'm just trying to be patient, right? Because Selma took eight years to make. Um, yeah. You know, Woman King took eight years to make, and we're talking about Ola Davis, and Gina yeah, that's right. and all the great right. names. So I have to be kind to myself and what this journey is and taking the time and learn yeah. stuff along the way until this is going to get made somehow, some way, somewhere. It's gonna be done. Um, and then moving into acting, I have a film coming out. I know, let's talk about that really quickly. It's like a sci-fi film that's uh -huh. coming out probably like October, November, like around Halloween-ish kind of, uh, which is really great. Myself, uh, Karen Ward-Ross, uh, Claudia Jordan, Jazz Anderson. Nice. Um, it was a really good film and it was a really good way for me to step back into acting. I did a small part in a Christmas film 
Looking last like year, um, but as myself, as a reporter. So this is, I'm playing someone's mother. I get to die. <laughs> There's blood. She gets to die, y'all. I get to cry. Why do we like dying, though? <laughs> <What? laughs> no, we don't, but... Why do we like playing all these crazy roles where we die or we're, we have to fight and we have to run? I remember Just, working on a project and I had to do all that and I was like, what? I was so exhausted. I was I like, know. what am I doing? I know, but it forces you to step outside of yourself. No, absolutely. Right? This, is what this whole imagination thing is. So, And I've actually seen a couple of the dailies, which I just was so nervous about. Where I was like, I'm not inviting anybody to the screen. <laughs> Until I see. see. <laughs> no, that's right. And then I saw a couple and I was like, oh. Okay. Okay, not so, uh, okay the cobwebs are awful. Okay. You know what I mean? Like when you haven't Good, been in front sweetheart. of a camera and stuff. You know, and I showed up the most prepared to the point where um, the producer of the film sent me some text messages from some of the other, you know, the DP and this person. They were like, yo, we're glad. They had to fight for me, actually, for this role. They wanted one mm. of the girls from Love and Hip Hop. And they were okay. like, no, we want her. We don't care what her numbers are, blah, blah, blah. So shout out to James DuBose, who really, yes, really fought for me. It. And so when he sent me those text messages that, listen, she's killing every scene. I only mm. had to do certain things, like one take, like you nailed it. We don't even need another. I we love don't even it. Safety. Let's and go. I just was like, but that was, you know, showing up prepared, right? You yeah, that's do right. The work. That's right. You, you do know? have to do the work. Yeah. And, and you are so right. Um, you know, our generation, we didn't know anything mm -hmm. but to do the work. Um, we stayed ready. Absolutely. You know? Um, so, I can't wait to see you with this film. <laughs> I'm happy that you're pursuing your acting career okay. as you should. You know, kind of wet your feet in all those areas. Yeah. You're creative. Yeah. And so, it's, you know, it's good. I love acting. So, here's the thing with me with acting is that I had to come to a place where they couldn't touch that sort of sacred place in me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the same, I feel the same way even about dancing. You know, I had to sort of look at it and say, okay, this is my garden and they don't get to touch this garden. Yeah. And I learned to sort of separate the two. So I'm so deep into it. I'm enjoying being an acting coach. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I wouldn't act again. I would totally act again uh, at, in a heartbeat. Um, I don't know that I would dance again, <laughs> but I would definitely act again. But no, I'm going to say, what? what if the role requires you to dance? Ah, um, I would. If the role, you set me up. You yeah. set me up. You set me up. You set I'm me saying. up for that way. Because <laughs> here comes Chicago. Okay, here comes New York. okay, okay. I would, I would, absolutely. Um, but I really, really love acting. I love everything about it. And so I feel so blessed to be an acting coach. I can't even tell you. You know, I get to do what I love every single day, and, you know, God has been so good. It's so crazy because if anyone would have told me that you would have transformed into an acting coach, I don't know if I ever saw it. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like, I would right. have bought choreographer, choreographer, and that would have just been yeah. it because we tell stories in that way with our bodies. Exactly. But to see that this is you telling a story still having to use your body. Absolutely. But other part is, is great. But, and, and you know what? I, I keep saying that I want to do this workshop with dancers because I really believe dancers make the best actors. Why? Because so much of it is being comfortable in your skin. And dancers are, are that. They're Absolutely. so comfortable. They walk in a room and they just, you know, we just shut it down Absolutely. with that physical confidence. And I think that that's a big part of acting mm -hmm. right it's just owning your body and how you present yourself how you're presenting yourself as the character um and so it, it's really good it's it absolutely makes sense to me that you're acting you, you know i mean you look at debbie allen and you look at yeah. you know they were actors they it's weren't so just crazy dancers. because the transition from college gymnast is that i went to do theater mm -hmm. right so i was doing theater for a long time and then i just happened to get a dancing gig that you know, took yeah. me away from it. Right. So it was like, oh, well, those are my roots. You know, I did it in high school or whatever. So everything happens the yeah. way it's supposed to. Yeah. And so let's just try and kick some more of these doors down. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in more and more stuff. I, I need to see you in front of the camera, and I need to see you behind the camera too, doing what you do. So okay, this is this absolutely needs a part two because people are going to be like, well, they didn't talk about when they danced with this person and that person. We're just teasing you for now. Yes. This is just all they want other about Bobby, they want to hear about Michael, they want to hear about Whitney. Exactly. They want it. Oh. They want the tea. <laughs> 
So I love you, sis, um, so much. I know you have to get out of here, so I'm going to let you yes. go. But it's so good to see you. Always good to see you. And you know I want nothing but the best Thank for you. Thank you. And you did ask me to bring something in the physical. Yes. And I okay. think you can we see have time. it from a mile away. We have time. Ah! Can you see it from a mile away? Yes. I wanted to not so, only, is it turned the right way? Yes, it's turned. That's my girl, Tony. Tony. Okay, House of Swag. Tony Grant, yes. House of Swag. From, she's in Brooklyn. That's right. This is the epitome of you and me. And in the 80s, they came out with that song, A Fly Girl. Yeah. A fly girl, girl from the Boogie Boys. That's and right. Like, These She's things. rocking her fly girl earrings. Um, they are so fly. I have my pair yes. gold and in silver. Yes. We love it. Yes, I love it. It's it gives, one of it your... gives me power and magic. And I, I get compliments that. all the time. And this is apropos because we're both fly. Yes, all that's, day, right. Every day. that's right. We, we are officially chicks. fly. Let's go. <laughs> we're going to end on that note. My fly girl. Number one fly girl, Big Les, it's in the house. I love you, baby. We are out, um, and we're going to leave you with this. As I continue to grow, being fly is an ever-evolving concept. So my question to you is, what does being fly mean to you in this very moment and in this season of your life? If you want to see more of Officially Fly, make sure to subscribe with post notifications, and don't forget to like this video. Peace.